Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I'm going to show you some camera packs that I use for my Micro Four Thirds gear. Let's go! Before we continue with today's video, this is just a quick reminder for you to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and let's continue with today's video. So today I'm going to show you some camera packs that I've used in the past and these camera packs are not exclusive for micro forters. You can actually use them with any camera system that you have. You can use them with full frame mirrorless, you can use them with the SLR, you can use them with APS-C, whatever you have. And I'm gonna show you how to uh, carry micro forters gear simply because I only own micro forters system. And I'm not only gonna show you how to carry this micro forters system with the uh, camera packs that I have but I'm also gonna show you some peripherals that you might also need to carry such as some uh, earphones some uh, flash if you're doing strobe photography like what I do or maybe some gadgets like a tablet or computer that you might have and need to carry in the, uh, with the bag as well maybe some cell phone and maybe some travel documents and wallet if you're traveling abroad okay so without further ado let's go with the first bag first bag that I want to show you is this Ona Bowery bag by Ona the Ona Powery pack is basically a small messenger pack that can double as a camera insert when using with a larger bag. So this bag has one main inner compartment section to uh, store your camera gear as well as some other items that you want to store inside. And then it has some other small compartments on the front. It has a couple of front pockets and a couple of side pockets that's very small and it's more like a slip pocket. You cannot really store anything large on the uh, uh, outer pockets but you can store like a small documents or something like that on the back slip compartment I bought this bag in 2016 as a small street photography messenger bag as well as for traveling this particular one is made of canvas material and has some leather accent around the back which looks really nice to me it also has detachable straps so that you can remove the strap when you don't need it it is on the small side but that that's the beauty of this bag. It really makes you think what to carry. So because the bag is not too big and it's on the small side, it is actually very minimalist. So you cannot carry too much stuff. But I really enjoy using this bag. So with this bag, you can pack, for example, one camera with a few items for travel, a small tablet like the iPad mini, as well as some documents for your travel. Also, you can pack one camera, a few lenses, without the travel items and a small tablet as well as documents and you can also use this bag without camera just as a travel bag with items for travel and documents in the bag. So here are some things that I love about this bag. First, I really love how this bag really embraces minimalism. I really have to think about my gear selection so that I'm only carrying the essential gear that I need. I'm only carrying the camera that I need. I'm only carrying the lens that I need, nothing more. So no garbage inside my bag. Next thing that I love is that the strap is very durable. It's made out of like a seat belt kind of material which I really enjoy it doesn't show any kind of wear and tear uh, kind of look when you're using it for a long period of time also I love that this bag is really well made I think it's a high quality bag and the leather that's been used for the accent for the bag really ages beautifully and that leads to the next point which is this bag is very inconspicuous it's very low-key and I really love to use this bag when I'm doing street photography or general art and about photography or filmmaking because it doesn't draw attention it's just straightforward easy to use and I don't have to worry about a, a bag that makes me look like I'm a professional videographer or a photographer the small size of the bag also means that it's very compatible with micro four thirds you can carry a little bit more with micro four thirds system when using this bag compared to if you are using other camera systems such as full frame mirrorless or APS-C systems or 
something similar. Now, some things that I don't really like about this bag. Uh, first, it's actually the small size of the bag, which is a double-edged sword. I love it because it embraces minimalism, but I don't really like it because that means I cannot carry anything extra besides what I need to have. Like for example, if I go to a grocery store, I cannot really store any water bottle inside or something like that. So it's the first thing that I don't really like about this bag. Second thing that I don't really like from this bag is that the inner compartment only comes with a single divider. I have to modify the divider myself so that it better suits my need with more dividers that I can find from other bags just to make it more useful and more flexible for storing items inside the bag. Also because of the limited divider that comes with the inner compartment, you cannot really store a tablet inside like what I'm doing right now. You have to modify it first before you can do that. Otherwise, you can only store your tablet on the outer compartment on the back of the bag. Alternatively, if you think that the Ona Bowery is too small for you, you can uh, choose the Ona Print Street like the one that I have right here. It's a slightly bigger bag. It can accommodate a larger tablet or even a 13-inch laptop like my Dell Inspiron 13 which I store in this bag and it has a more flexible inner compartment which you can uh, put more stuff inside. So basically it has the main compartment for your uh, camera gear as well as some for some uh, other items that you want to store on the main compartment and it also has a separate laptop section that you can use to store your tablet or laptop it still has two front pockets that you can store small items and it doesn't have the uh, outer two pockets like the one on the Ona Bowery but it still has the back uh, pocket which you can use to store documents or even a tablet as well it's larger and it's more flexible so you can easily store things inside without any problems. So this Ona Print Street is actually my main everyday messenger bag. It's been the bag that I carry to the office every day from 2017 up to 2019 and it's been doing a really great job. There's not a lot of complaint when it comes to the Ona Print Street. I think it's the same quality as the Ona Bowery but one problem with my particular bag, I think it's a a defect from the manufacturer is that the uh, extra handle that they gave to me it's a little bit broken you know the leather starts to come off after a few months of usage and I think it's not uh, true to all the owner bags I think it's just true to this particular bag that I have bought so if you want to buy one uh, make sure that you can check the item on the store before you buy so that you can make sure that the quality is the best so now I want to show you what you can carry with the Ona Prince street bag so you can carry one camera a few lenses travel items and documents as well as a 13 inch laptop or a tablet and basically you can even uh, put two cameras inside if the camera is not too large and have a few more items and uh, still carry the laptop and tablet as well next bag that I want to show you is the uh, Billingham Hadley small Billingham Hadley small is also a small messenger bag made by Billingham. It is slightly larger when compared to the Ona Bowery and it's made of uh, some kind of material that's called fibernite which is basically some sort of a synthetic canvas or something like that. It's more resilient to weather, more resilient to wear and tear. I bought the Billingham bag in around 2014 with micro four thirds in mind. I choose the small one because micro four third is not that large especially when it comes to the lenses so that I can carry a lot of stuff without needing to carry a big bag. Just like the owner bags, this bag also has some leather accents around some part of the bag which makes it really look so nice in my opinion. And with this bag, basically you have one main compartment, the uh, main uh, compartment for storing your camera gear or some other items that you want to store there. And the good thing about this main compartment is that it is removable. So you can just uh, undo the button and remove the camera insert and just have the bag without the insert. And uh, you also have two front pockets that you can open up and store some items. The front pockets are larger when compared to the Ona Bowery or even to the Ona Print Street so you can store larger item inside and that's it you don't really have any other compartments uh, you don't have side pockets or back pocket or anything like that so basically you can also store a tablet uh, 
in between the rear part of the back and the camera insert so you just slip it right between right there so with micro four touch system basically you can pack a lot of gear inside this small bag more than the owner bowery and usually with this bag i can pack one camera few lenses as well as some travel items a small tablet and some documents but sometimes i can even also carry two cameras a few lenses some travel items tablet and documents it can accommodate up to two cameras and it's still doing fine but uh, also because i'm doing strobis photography of camera flash that kind of stuff i sometimes uh, just pack one camera few lenses and also a speed light or flash inside this bag and also still be able to pack a tablet some travel items as well as some document and here are some things that I really love about this bag on contrary with the Ona Powery this bag is actually a little bit larger but still on the small side but just few inches of increase in size really makes it able to carry a lot more gear with just a small package also this bag is very lightweight so i really enjoy using the billingham hadley small for travel especially when i'm going to places where i don't want to be seen as a photographer and just carry something small and light but still be able to carry a lot of gear that i need to produce photographs or video it is also durable and able to handle a lot of abuse as well as some weather this bag is basically seven years old now and it still looks like it's new also i love the flap opening and closing mechanism using this little tab right here it is very simple it is very easy and it's very effective you just undo the button like this and you're able to access your main compartment however there are some things that i don't really like from the billingham hadley small first the strap material is like a woven fabric kind of material which doesn't really look nice when you wear it over time it starts to look wrinkly and old also on this bag there's no dedicated compartment that you can use to store documents uh, separately from the uh, inner compartment or from the tablet uh, slot other thing that I don't really like is actually the size it is quite you know contradictory to what I previously said because I actually enjoyed this bag but this is actually a, a little bit of a larger small bag if you understand what I mean so it's not large but it's also not small so it's kind of in this in between weird kind of size category as an alternative you can also choose the Billingham Hadley Pro this is also uh, made by Billingham and it's a larger version of the Billingham Hadley small I can carry two cameras a lot of lenses and some travel items as well as some documents and even a full-size 13 inch laptop inside of this bag with no problem and also on the back of the bag you have this zippered compartment that you can use to store documents or other small items so that you have a separate compartment and it's much more easier for you to use during travel so as a quick recap for the smaller messenger bag solution you have the Billingham Hadley small as well as the owner Bowery if you don't need to carry too much you can just use the owner Bowery to carry only the essential camera gear that you need as well as some few items and if you want to carry a little bit more then Billingham Hadley small is the solution if you want to carry a lot then uh, your solution will be the Ona Prince Street or if you want to carry even more than that then you can use the Billingham Hadley Pro so far what I've explained in this video are only messenger bag it's because I love messenger bag they are easy to carry and they are uh, really quick to access you can just open the bag and access the camera right away without having to put down the bag and that's why I don't really like to use backpack for my uh, camera gear backpack because when you're using backpack you have to put it down and uh, open the zipper and get the camera from the main insert and it's gonna take a lot of time and it's not gonna make you look incon inconspicuous as well so I really re recommend using messenger bag especially when you are traveling but there are times when you need to use backpack for uh, carrying camera gear so this guy right here is the Finta S series backpack I made a review about this bag long time ago and I really think that it's one of the best micro four thirds backpack at that time now I don't want to tell too much about this bag you can watch my full review on the link above but basically I'm only using this backpack if I want to carry 
a lot of gear at the same time and I don't have to access them quickly when I'm using them. So that's one benefit of using backpack, being able to carry a lot of gear. And the second benefit is that you are more comfortable carrying it over a longer period of time. When you're carrying too much gear using messenger bag, it's gonna start to feel very sore on your shoulder. So that is all of the bags that I currently own and use. I'm sorry that I don't feature newer and trendier camera bags like the one that you found on YouTube or in the internet. I just don't happen to have them. I haven't used any of them yet and I don't want to inform you about something that I haven't personally experienced it myself because I want to be able to tell you my own opinion after I'm using these items. And I hope that from the bags that I feature in this video, you're able to find something useful from them. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you find this video to be useful. Please comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and goodbye.